In this task, you will design a proportional symbol map showing Syrian internally displaced persons and refugees. You will design the base map and proportional symbols in this task. Normally, you would also create the labels. However, as there are so few labels, we're going to do this manually in the next lab when we start finalizing the map design. So first, open QGIS Desktop 2.2.0, and then we're going to add a raster layer, and that's going to be in our lab directory. And we want to load gray HR SR TIFF. So I'm going to add that. And to make it easier to uh, understand in the table of contents or the layers list, I'm going to rename it. So I'm going to open up the properties, go to general, and name it uh, shaded relief. There we go. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to add a vector layer, and I'm going to go into the same directory, and I'm going to add the ocean vector layer. There we go. And I'm going to add it and make sure that it's at the top of my layers list. And I'm going to rename it to ocean in the layers panel. So again, open the properties and change it to ocean. Now that I have that set, I'm going to go back into the properties and I'm going to change the style. So I'm going to click on the style tab. I'm then going to click on simple fill and I'm going to change the fill color <clears throat> to a hue of 195, saturation of 42, and value of 97. Then I'm going to set the border style and say no pen, so I don't want any uh, border on that. I'm going to hit OK, and now we get something that looks like this. Okay, next I'm going to add another vector layer, and these are going to be the coastlines. So I'm going to add that, hit open. I'm going to rename it to coastlines and then I'm going to change its symbols as well. So first go to the general tab and I'm going to call this coastlines and then go to the style tab and I'm going to select simple line, select the color and change it to the same HSV that I did for the oceans. So 195, 42, 97 and I'm going to set the pin width to 1.25 and the purpose of this is to um, sort of hide the uh, water boundaries of the country so that it looks like the coast just comes right up to the country line or uh, sorry comes right up to the, the country so next I'm going to add another vector layer and this is going to be the countries with IDP and refugee information and this layer is going to do triple duty it's going to serve as the base map for the data uh, for, for the, uh, it's also going to be the data for the uh, IDP proportional symbol and the refugee proportional symbol and so we're going to duplicate this layer twice so that we can have one layer for each duty that I just mentioned. And so I'm going to right click on the newly added uh, vector file and choose duplicate. I am then going to do it one more time. Okay, so now with the um, uh, bottom layer, or any of them really, I'm going to drag it underneath the ocean. I'm going to turn its visibility on. Then I'm going to rename this base map. So we're going to wait for it to render here. I'm going to go into its properties, general, and we're going to rename this as base map. There we go. And I'm going to turn off the turn off the rendering for the next few things I'm going to do, so we don't have to wait for it to render each time. And so to do that, I'm going to uncheck render right here. And so next, I'm going to rename this layer refugees. And I'll use that layer for the refugee proportional symbols. And the top one I'm going to rename IDPs, so that way I can use that one as the IDP layer. Okay, uh, next I want to make sure they're in the correct order, so I want refugees on top of IDPs, so I'm going to turn on this visibility and drag it to the top of the list. And we should be good to go, so I'm going to turn off the refugee and IDP layer visibility for now, however. Okay, so now that we have all of our data loaded, let me turn back on the renderer here. Let's work on setting the base map layer's property so that we can complete our base map before we turn to dealing with a proportional symbol design. So first we want the hill shade to show on the map, so the base map layer now uh, covers that up. And so to do that I'm going to go to the properties of the base map layer, I'm going to click on the style tab, and I'm going to set the layer transparency to 
I'm going to click apply just to show you what happens. And so you'll be able to see part of the shaded relief show up through the vector countries. And you can see that in the background here. Okay, now I'm going to set the following properties uh, to, to complete the design of the base map. And so I'm going to click on Simple Fill. And then for the colors, I'm going to set the hue to 60, saturation to 23, and value to 107. For the border, I'm going to set its hue to 0, saturation to 0, and value to 60. And I'm going to set the border width to 1.25. Now to make the border not so bland, um, we're going to uh, add a thin light gray fill stroke down the center of the black border. And this is going to help give the borders a little more definition. So I'm going to click the add, so I'm going to click uh, fill, and I'm going to choose the add uh, layer symbol button. And it's going to add a new simple fill, and I want this to be at the top. So if it wasn't at the top, I would use this uh, air, uh, blue arrow right here, so it's above my other one. And I'm now going to change its fill color to hue of 0, saturation of 0, and value to 193. And I want its border width to be uh, quite a bit um, thinner. So I'm going to go uh, 0 0.75. Um, and actually, I'm sorry here, the fill, uh, the border style should be no brush. And I want to set the border to uh, 0, 0, 193. There we go. So that's what I want. So for the fills, no brush, border style solid line, and the border width should be uh, 0.75. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. And now we can zoom in uh, to examine our work in detail. So I'm going to zoom into Syria, uh, since that's the area we're going to be focusing on. And so let me use the zoom in tool, and let's uh, zoom into the area. I'm going to zoom in a little closer. I still want to be able to see some of the surrounding countries. I don't want to zoom in so close to Syria that I can't see Turkey and Egypt, for instance. There we go. That's pretty reasonable there. And so now with our base map design, let's turn our attention to creating the proportional symbols that represent the refugees and IDPs. And so let's start with the refugee proportional symbols. So I'm going to turn on the refugee layer in the layers list. Um, and you know our map's going to be temporarily ruined with a default fill color, but we're going to take care of that here in just a second. So to do that, open up the properties of the refugee layer, click on the style tab, and then for the simple fill, for the fill style, say no brush, and for the border style, say no pen. So we're effectively turning off all the symbology for this layer. And so when I click apply, you'll see that um, it. There's nothing for the refugee layer, so we're just seeing the base map at this point. <clears throat> so now let's add the proportional symbols. So we're going to go to the diagrams tab on the left, and I'm going to check display the diagrams uh, checkbox. I'm going to choose pie chart for the diagram type. And the plan is to create a chart with a single filling which represents refugees, and have it scaled proportionally to the symbol of the refugee field in the shape file. So to do that, on the Appearance tab, I'm going to set my line thickness to uh, 0 0.75. In the Available Attributes list, I'm going to select Refugees down here at the bottom, and I'm going to add that to the right. I'm then going to double-click the color bar, and this is going to allow me to change the color of that pie slice. And so I'm going to set this following values, so hue of 4, saturation of 2 and 11, and value of 255. I'm going to click OK. All right now under the Size tab, this is where we're going to have it scale proportionally. So I'm going to uncheck Fixed Size, since I do want it to scale. And in the Attribute drop-down box, I'm going to choose Refugees again, since uh, that's the uh, value that we're uh, wanting to represent and scale by. So I'm going to click the Find Maximum Value button. And so this sets, uh, finds the maximum value. And the maximum value will be represented by the size of 50. Well, I'm going to scale that down to 40 so it's not so large. And now I'm going to click OK. And, we're going, uh, and that completes the designing of our proportional symbols for the refugee. And so you, now you can see that we have uh, red symbols uh, proportionally scaled to the refugee um, attribute. So now we can turn to creating the Syria proportional symbol. 
uh, representing internally displaced persons. We really want to make an impact with the size of Syria's IDP proportional symbol, so we're going to have it dominate the map and be in a different color than the refugee symbols since we're really talking about a different classification of uh, person. So I'm going to turn on the IDP visibility, and so again our map's going to be temporarily ruined with an ugly default color, and so, uh, so we're going to turn off all of the uh, styles for the fills. So once again I'm going to choose no brush for fill style, and no brush or no pen for the border style. I'm then going to go back to diagrams, check display diagrams, make sure pie chart is chosen. On the appearance tab, I'm going to set my line width to 0 0.75 so I'm consistent with the other proportional symbols. I'm then going to scroll down and choose IDPs as my attribute, click uh, add. And I'm going to double click on the color bar to change the color values to hue of 270, value of 170, uh, I'm sorry, saturation to 170, and values of 255. I'm then going to click the size tab. I'm going to uncheck fixed size. Um, and the reason why I'm doing that is if we keep the fixed size checked, even countries with a null value for the IDP attribute will have a circle displayed, but there won't be anything in the pie. And since we want to avoid that, we only want to show the uh, countries that have a non-null value, we're going to scale the size of the proportional symbols to the attribute value. So the attribute value I want to uh, scale to is IDPs, so I'm going to go down and select that. I'm going to click Find Maximum Value, and notice it's uh, you know 6.5 million in scientific notation there. Um, and so we're going to use a little, little bit of cartographic license here. Um, so, you know, the Syrian proportional symbol should be about six and a half times larger than Lebanon's uh, because Lebanon's refugee population is 980,000. But if we set that to be 6.5 times larger than the size of the largest uh, refugee symbol, which is 40 millimeters, it'd be a staggering 260 millimeters. And that would be completely too large. It would cover the, the entire map. Um, so our options are either to make the refugee circle smaller or use some cartographic license to scale down the IDP circle. If we choose option A, the refugee circles may become too small to be impactful. If we choose option B, well, not, we're not going to be scaling all circles proportionally. Um, however, uh, it is still going to be quite impactful and show that there is a significant difference between the IDP population and the refugee populations. So I recommend option B because um, it's still going to leave an impact to the map reader, and I think they're still going to understand the, uh, the, the large amount of IDPs inside of Syria. And so to do that, we're going to set the size of the largest value, and the only value we're interested in here, to 100. I'm going to click OK, and now we're going to see the dominating uh, Syria IDP proportional symbol that you can see partially on the map, and all the other proportional symbols. And yours may vary slightly depending on what scale you're zoomed into and what you're seeing on the screen. That's fine. We can uh, deal with uh, double circles or missing uh, circles later. So let's go ahead and save our GIS project since we've done so much work. So I'm going to click uh, Project, Save, and I'm going to save this in my lab directory. And I'm going to save this as Syria Map. 